take a look at some other things. So, um, you know, this is how you basically play around with device drivers. Um, uh, middleware, similar thing. For example, TCP IP stack. I can just simply enable TCP IP stack, say yes, I want to use TCP IP stack, uh, and configure it, you know, the way I want it to be configured, uh, and then simply, uh, you know, again, generate code. I'm going to go ahead and click generate code. And let's take a look and see what uh, what got generated in this particular case. And let's open the uh, system initialization. And here you will see uh, additional code being brought in. Uh, so again, we see the clock initialization, you know, just the typical system initialization that we've seen before. Uh, but now I see things like uh, timer driver initialization. So in this particular case, uh, the uh, TCP IP stack uses other various components from the Harmony, uh, things like uh, timer system service, which uses timer driver, um, uh, and a few other things. So this is where you see, again, by simply selecting that you want to use uh, TCP IP stack, all the appropriate components were brought into the system initialization. So you can see timer driver initialization here. You see, you'll see uh, system service uh, for timer being brought in you'll see uh, system console service. Everything basically that TCP IP stack needs was brought in into this initialization. And here you actually see TCP IP stack being initialized as well. Um, when I look at the system task, when I look at the system task routine, similar things. Uh, uh, you know, you can see right now my timer tasks are here now. Uh, my uh, console service tasks are here, and here's my TCP IP task. So again, uh, the uh, the configurator basically generates all the code you need uh, to use a particular module, uh, so you don't have to worry about it. It will be completely initialized the way you want it, the way you configure it through various options. Um, but the uh, uh, but the uh, all you have to do is start basically developing code uh, that you need to develop inside of the app.c and app.h. Uh, 